more drum rolls? Sure. Drum rolls? Okay, here we go. New, new, new. New, 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 new. <laughs> this is the seven piece laurel cut and emboss die set. And it is a summer price. We have it on sale already, even though it's the first time you're seeing it. We're going to. We're gonna blow your mind, okay? This is so intricate, and there's so much historical significance to this. Right, so it's laurel wreaths are, you know, a symbol of victory and honor, mm -hmm. and they have been around for centuries in architecture, and one of the things, I, I reproduce my own archive of antique things, and so I have all these beautiful paintings that were for weaving, for mm. weaving silk, and the laurel wreath is something that is uh, that always shows up in that, and in honor of National Scrapbook Month, we're showing you some amazing scrapbook paper con confections mm -hmm. uh, just like this. So the laurel wreath is here. This is the cornucopia one. You're getting four different laurels, and they're, uh, you were saying, what are they made of? Okay, so so we have the, the laurel wreath like this. This is the one. This one's one of se seven dies, right, that you're getting. So this one is your, the one that you expect, right? Right. So that's, expect, that's the yeah. bay leaf. This is the ivy and this is so beautiful this is a very lightweight um, smaller laurel and then I'm gonna skip over here and come back this this is the olive Look laurel at that. So you're you're using the cutting die to cut and then emboss the little olives. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and and this is the cornucopia. So you're using beautiful papers. You're using your own embellishments. You're using these as what I call the background of your cards. But then I give you three extra little dies that create the pattern for um, the background. So the, the the Napoleonic B is a very famous um, design symbol, and they these. Are made like the little Dresden die cuts where they're contained and all you're going to do is take the scissor you're getting a B and a fleur de -lis. you're getting an ornament as well you take your little scissor and you create the little pattern piece from each of the dies. So everyone that said, oh, please do a fleur de lis we've done this, but watch what's gonna happen when you make a pattern with them, okay? Little magic. Very, very magical. Little magic, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. All right, so as- Do a quick question, in the historical family crests, you see a lot of this, don't you? You see a lot of fleur de lis you see a lot of these wreaths. Yes. I'm just thinking of the royal wedding coming up. Anyway, no. you have a wedding coming up? Oh. The royal wedding. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, I'm yeah, going. That you know, one. I won't be here because I'll be there. <laughs> Joking, but I am available. You're okay. on that elusive <laughs> guest list, my uh, friend, aren't you? I know uh, that if Kate knew me, we would be friends along with Megan. Okay, so let's, let's, let's see what's happening here. So I'm using, I'm using a little sticker from our vintage summer die cuts to create a custom monogram. And then I'm going back with those little Napoleonic bees and I'm going to add them to the corners right of my project. Oh. So you're you're getting a very specific design style here and I like these especially for Father's Day because it gives you a little more of a masculine look sure right as you're working with those but you're just doing something where you're adding that extra special little touch. I want to put the bee in the flower because it's gathering nectar. Well, right. all right, sure. <laughs> no, don't I like symmetry, but I know. <laughs> you well, go right you in know, there. I okay. like freestyle. Here's the thing, you guys, whatever you like. Freestyle, <laughs> symmetry. <laughs> She's such a good friend. She just changed her design for me. Um, sure. For a summer price that's happening right now, and it's brand new, this is your first chance seeing it, and that being said, 1,200 are already selected. If you love that upper echelon, extra special little detail or big statement in your crafting, of course, this is a perfect kit for you. And um, we've got it on four flex payments along with that special on shipping and handling. You'll only spend $5 on shipping and handling on your crafts today. So this is, so one of the things that I, when I'm designing a die set, I'm thinking about how the die becomes a beautiful um, accoutrement to our papers, to our embellishments, all the things that you have from us so that you're not like, it's, it's, it's basically something that is uh, it becomes see how it like this is one of our sentiment stickers mm. with just the initial on the top mm -hmm. and 
then the wreath serves as a way to highlight what you know what we're doing here. So D, you're special. You're so special. That, that, that should go out to Danica. It really yeah. should. Yes. Because <laughs> they like to call her D. So each one of these has a beautiful way of making your own family crest. You're making your own coat of arms. You are using your beautiful metallic papers from mm. us to create all that um, depth and dimension. Maybe you have our Blooming Decoupage card making kit. Look how it works so beautifully with that. Every single thing we make goes together in a way that really nothing else does. It totally makes sense. Yeah. Right? And it's it's just layer upon layer. It's that next step, that next accessory, that next embellishment. Look, it's Joe. Oh my and Joe. gosh. How cute. Anna and Joe with a little, oh. With a little champagne bucket. Little champagne, right. <laughs> I'm not oh, announcing man. anything. <laughs> there you go. Anything else we should know? Yes, no, but look how pretty these are when you're putting mm. together um, different laurel wreaths together. Like the small one with the ivy with combined with the olive wreath. That's so beautiful. With each one, it just gets prettier and prettier. Look. I'm thinking of some Christmas ideas too. Yeah. Wouldn't that be pretty? Yeah, yeah. Especially if you're thinking about making a card mm. for someone's wedding that's coming up or graduation, these, these are the dyes that you want to use. Use to, to embellish what your projects are going to be. They Look are that. one right after the other. Ooh, Is it yeah. little bees? L sweet. I love those little they're, bees. They're darling. There's a fleur de lis, a bee, and a, 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 an ornament, which is a little, I'll show you, it's a little circle. So it looks a little like a snowflake, but it's actually a circle. Okay, so okay. pretty. I know we have to wrap this up. So this is really exceptional, Anna. You always bring things that blow my mind, but this is particularly special. So Seven dies. If you want these seven dies, join us right now for them before they're totally gone. <laughs> like, you all love these too. I'm so glad. And look at all the, 